you're <laughs> fighting for your life, and that's uh, they need to keep that get that attention at the beginning of the match. Okay. Interesting. Earl did come come up dry there, and I'm happy they're wearing different colors today. It's gonna be oh a lot my easier. Gosh, I know. I was <laughs> mixing them up for sure. Well, and their names both start with E. They were both wearing black yesterday, and it was just very <laughs> threw me off. You're watching Efren, the magician Reyes, playing right now, and if some of our newer players out there are listening and you're, you're curious who this guy is uh, he is a BCA Hall of Famer a three-time world champion US Open nine ball winner in 1994 he's also a Derby City all-around winner a one pocket champion nine pocket champion at Derby uh, there's way too many titles that to list with this guy and he is arguably the most recognized pool player in the world definitely in the Philippines for sure, and <laughs> Earl's the second most recognized. <laughs> I've, I've been to the Philippines, and they recognize Earl. Just the average street person recognizes mm. Earl. <laughs> it's amazing. He leaves an impression. <laughs> yeah. And as far as Earl's many, many accomplishments, also a BCA Hall of Famer, he is a five-time world nine-ball champion, a five-time U.S. Open nine-ball champion, uh, lots of other ones. I heard Finnegan when he was announcing him saying he's run 11 racks of nine ball in a row. 11. That's insane. That's right. And he pocketed a cool million dollars for that. <laughs> for that uh, accomplishment. Mm -hmm. And knowing that there was a million dollars on the line, too. Like, wow. I mean... That the says pressure. a lot. <laughs> it's it's it. If you're just at home and you're just shooting by yourself and you make you run eleven racks, that's impressive as is, as is. But to know you got a million bucks riding, wow. can you imagine what that last nine ball must have felt like? That's amazing. Safe. Earl's changed a lot in the past couple of years. I'm I'm close with all these pro players and. Nineway Pool Hall has really helped Earl, mm -hmm. and his attitude is so much better now. It is. Nineway has been uh, an integral part of the New York City pool scene, uh, becoming more and more every single day. It's a fantastic pool room. Um, tons of pool tables, Brunswick tables here. They've got one 10-foot table. Um, they've got amazing food, a full bar. It, it's really an impressive room, and it constantly is putting on these fantastic matches for people to watch. So if you're in the area, I highly recommend coming down here. Completely worth the trip. Absolutely. And if you're not near watching us live stream via the live stream, you can thank Inside Pool and NYC Grind, in particular my co-commentator, Alvin, who is the brains behind your visual pleasure right now. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Gail. It's always fun to come and visit you and Tony in New York and all my New York friends. I'm amazed. I feel at home here. I mean, <laughs> people are so nice in New York. They treat they treat us so well. So thank you so much, Steinway Pool Hall and everyone else, the New Yorkers and all the pool fans tuning in across the world, across the galaxy. I do appreciate you watching, whether you're on world or off world. <laughs> we are mega live here at Steinway Pool Hall with Earl versus Efren. The match I've been dreaming about since I started doing pool videos. I didn't know that. Well, I mean, this is... Earl inspired me to keep going with pool and not giving up. Hmm. And these two are legend. I mean, this is the w determination, the, the peak of determination and willpower. These two guys here to be the best in the world at what you do. Mm -hmm. And that is an amazing accomplishment to be able to master yourself and the game yep. and whether you can keep playing on and on and on 
and become timeless with it. Now I think Earl Strickland is timeless, that's for sure. That's for darn sure. I think right now he's asking about the call shot, call safety rule, and they are playing with those rules. Correct me if I'm wrong, Alvin. I believe so. I believe so. I'll have to get confirmation from Finnegan. But if they're playing the call shot, call safe rules, um, Earl would technically have the option, since Efren did call that three ball, to give this shot back should he not like the position that he was left. Okay, and we have our stats in with Strick Earl Strickland shooting a thousand, and Reyes is too yet low yet to determine. And uh, we'll keep that's ProPool.com doing the stats. Oh. Ron Hoffman, thank you, is a big sponsor of this show. How nice. That's a yep. nice feature. Did great. Came through it for us. Excellent. He's trying to squeeze that cue ball behind the five ball there, and I don't know if he got that. Um, nope. He's he does have a, a visual of the three ball here, and I got a feeling Efren's going to be trying to stick the cue ball behind the four and the eight over there. Going to tuck that up behind the four ball. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's actually what I thought Efren would try to do. And I've seen Efren miss two shots here already. And now he's stuck behind a ball. <laughs> well, he's never played on a 10 foot uh, pool table before yesterday. <laughs> From what I understand, that was the first time he's ever played on one. Ever? Mm hmm. That's what I was told. Wow. I was told he's never played on a 5 by 10 So, and this is Earl's stomping ground. So, wow, wow. He just mass hate kicked at that three ball and hit Unbelievable. it square in the face. Wow. That's what everybody's here to see. might have the side pocket here. See if he can weave it in there. That pocket's going to be about as big as the five ball. <laughs> what did you say earlier today? I heard you could stick your head in the side pocket. Not this one. No. But at a different pool table we were at earlier. <laughs> yeah, you could stick your head in the side pockets at that table <laughs> at that place. <laughs> Always fun with my friends in the pool world. Ah, Earl is going for the... Wow. Nice. See if he... Uh, I think he hit Did it leak out? I think it might have just hit it too hard. Oops. These guys are going to enjoy themselves, I'm sure. They love playing each other. This is chess as a chess of the pool world at its finest. Yeah, he's he Efren's clearly trying to get a hold of the speed on this table. Actually, I think he's just trying to get comfortable. I mean, like you said before, Earl is comfortable in this room. He plays here all the time. He plays on this particular table all the time. And he's got the home crowd. And I'm sure Efren's trying to get acclimated. Stood right up off three. the ball. Yeah, he's not comfortable. This is Earl's kind of environment. Mm -hmm. It really is. Oh, 
the 5x10, which he resurrected <laughs> from uh, Oblivion with his constant talking about it. He does. He is definitely an advocate <laughs> for the 5x10. Yeah. And even Earl butchered the ball. Hmm. Let's make sure our score is correct. Yeah, I think they've only played one rack. Okay, these guys go so fast. we got to keep this track. This is a very okay, strange help me here. rack. It's, it's very strange. Mm -hmm. I wonder if uh, Efren still got his head in the chess game. Was he playing chess <laughs> before this? I, he was yesterday. Nice. <laughs> There's the shot I'm used to seeing. <laughs> Even here at Steinway right now, Finnegan, uh, Predator Pro Am Tours tournament director. He runs a Monday and Wednesday, Wednesday tournament here at Steinway and filled out or er, sold out just because everybody's here watching anyway. Oh, of I'll, course. Play, I'll play in a little mini tournament while I'm here. The New York pool scene is mega. I mean, there's people everywhere. It's unlike any other place on the planet, of course. <laughs> we did have a, a, a very, very successful season opener this weekend. Our largest ever, the Predator Pro Am Tour, had 105 amateurs playing in its season huh. opener. I think I was here for that. I think you were. <laughs> and then uh, 26 open pros played, or 26 players played in the open pro on Sunday. So Efren's going to get okay. on the board, and we will have an even score, 1-1 one, one apiece. And that was not the prettiest rack I ever saw these two guys play, but I got a feeling we'll get some better pool. Okay, okay, so I'll have uh, him at the table, up, 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 six Almost in the side. I, I don't think he can. Looks like the nine's blocking the one ball there. Yep. Um, I'll to see a bit of it. Yeah, but no, it's blocked. We'll see a push here. Let's see where he's going to push it. How you like that? Yeah, it's pretty cool. A lot of balls in a line, but it's not a big, not a big wide line, so it's a very accurate shot. Yeah, uh, he's gonna, he's gonna, gonna play. Come, come off the side and come underneath it, I think. One rail is going. He's gonna try to hide the cue ball behind the nine four. It's like that. Like that. He made it. Yeah, he got it. He made it. A little luck involved in that. That wasn't. You know, he got it, but uh, a good hit. Yep. <coughs> yeah. <sighs> so no jump cues, right? No, no jump cues. Mm. Okay. So we can see see their uh, billiards prowess. Oh, he's going to cook him as well. Look, look at this. 
Look at that. Great shot from Earl. Okay, you can bring him back to the table, right? He, he plays safe over here, or he yeah. called the shot? No, he played. No, he's he played safe. It's a good kick. Okay, so he hide the two behind the seven. Oh, got a little safety fest going on here, folks. He loves talking to himself, muttering, talking to the cow, talking to the people. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Alvin is the man, by the way, over here, behind all this. So, if not him, I don't think we were sitting over here, Jeff. We wouldn't be, nobody be seeing anything <laughs> without Alvin. <laughs> <laughs> and this is not Alvin the chipmunk we're talking about, this is Alvin of Inside Paul. Yeah, he, he's here from Saturday. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's see what he's gonna do over I here. See the yeah, he's gonna have to play it. He wanna go into the two seven, that's for sure. He's gonna try to go one rail. Oh no. Not oh, like he's that. Nice he's that not he that's doesn't the worst thing for No. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily he's got six sticks in his bag as uh, effort as Earl, so if he breaks a few we're okay. Yeah. Might run out of funny sticky tape to stick no, on. No, he oh, he's gonna hit the. He oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, but it yeah, he didn't shot, him but good. left him. Yeah, it. yeah. Now he wanted to go from the right side. Yeah. Let's see if Efren can uh, capitalise on this now. And he's heading in the right direction for the three, so that's going to work out nice. Probably just go one round, just slide it up there, isn't it? Like that. He doesn't like that, you know. He'll make it, but it's not what he wanted. No. <coughs> no, I didn't like that. But he is called the magician, so yeah. See what he does here. He cut the four in the side. have to come down and back up again for the five ball he makes the four I think it's easy over here now he hit it good I like that shot oh, I perfect. love that shot perfect perfect and seven is next nice. <coughs> yeah, he's going down to the seven then he got yeah with inside English Got the angle. He's good. Good to go. Right. Don't see a problem here, but he's just got to be careful. He doesn't end up getting stuck on the ten. But I'm sure he's not going to do that. I think he'd like a little more angle than that, wouldn't he? Yeah. good speed yeah that's a good speed nice nice so we got t2 over here that perfection but sometimes every once in a while you can you can you can achieve it for a certain point in time mm -hmm. you know i agree with you baby honey uh tony <laughs>
So it looks like they're going to get into a little safety battle here. This is not an easy shot right here. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy shot to play safe off. Of. And I'm assuming he's going to try to get go between the five and the nine. Not even. He's going to try to put it. Wow. wow. It's for the shot. Wow. Wow. Now that is an impressive shot. I agree. Well, he's got the momentum going his way now. He was really behind in the match, and now that he's tied up the score, mm. he's definitely feeling a lot better. I mean, he's going for shots like that. Shot. Wow. Perfection. Like I said, every now and then you achieve it for yep. a short period of time. <laughs> this is a perfect example. <laughs> Probably see this is another shot that people ask me about. Do you go one rail to the center of the table? Do you go two rails and then out towards the seven? Mm -hmm. Again, this is a preference shot, but I think that it's very important to know both, just mm -hmm. in case one day you happen to be shooting a shot. Oh, I for a second there he jumped up. I thought he yeah. thought he missed it. I think so too. Yeah, I think so. That's why he's composing himself. <laughs> he said, "I better take it easy." <laughs> And if Efren makes these last two balls, this will be the first time, I think, in the race that Earl uh, Efren will take the lead. Right. It'll be the first time I think he's taken the lead in both matches, right? I'm not sure if, if he I'm not sure about yesterday. yesterday. It's a good point. I actually don't know the answer. But it's definitely in this, in, in this match tonight. It'll be the first time he takes the lead. And I expect to hear Earl talking. So the players are going to take a small little break here. Rack two. Strickland with the break. Already leading one nothing. Let's take a look. There's four. There's uh, uh, the pocketing no balls on the break. But fortunately for Strickland, the eight ball came in between the cue ball and the one ball, not allowing Reyes at the table with a clear shot. You know, he's got a couple of tricks in his bag as well as Strickland does in his. Let's see what he does. You know, it'll be a real contrast in facial expressions, too. Earl doesn't really disguise how he feels about a shot, whereas you'll see no emotion from Reyes. Notice the position of both the one and the cue ball. Reyes kicked with the, uh, with the ability to put the one ball and the cue ball at different ends of the table. It was really planned out. He would have liked the cue ball to go down the little table a little further behind the four. But... Uh, Nevertheless, good shot. Oh, he was just trying to thin edge that one ball. It's going to be cue ball in hand for Reyes. And everything is in the open. All the colors available. Now, of the two players, like I tried to mention before, Strickland is the one who seems to be a little more sensitive at this time. You know, he's a little more delicate. More susceptible. Susceptible is a much better word, Jim. And he's more susceptible. Therefore, you know, he really has to keep it together here, particularly early in the match. The yeah. one thing that uh, I feel is in Strickland's benefit with this match, though, Billy, is that if there's ever a player that he feels he can justifiably lose to, it's Reyes. That's true, and that's why I said these players bring the, mo the best out of one another's games, you know, because they know they have to perform, and they do respect one another so much. And this is definitely, uh, you know, this is a... It's a heck of a robbery throughout the years, right here. One for the ages. And he just wants to float this near the three. Play it to the same corner. Beautifully controlled cue ball. Such a wonderfully executed shot. Notice the angle that he's left himself with on the three. Ideal for pop popping off that rail for position for the four. See how nice he did that so effortlessly? That's the type of an angle that he needed to get. He positioned the cue ball perfectly for that type of a shot. He wasn't at his best last night when he lost to Parika. 
That was some kind of battle. 11-9, Jose Perica in the end surviving. Well, it's hard to fall behind in a match and come back and win. Well, oh, he hit a little roughly, but uh, the pocket accepted the shot. Yeah, he's grinning because he knows he didn't hit that one nearly as well as and he would have wanted. I was, I was, like I was trying to say, it's hard on this equipment to fall behind and come back and win. We saw it yesterday in the Peggy Lion Bustamante match where Bustamante fell behind five to nothing. He made a charge at him, tied it up, even went ahead, I think it was eight to seven or nine to eight, but eventually lost the match 11 to nine. So on this equipment, you really can't afford to fall far behind because surmounting large leads is very difficult. This nine for the magician. Squaring it up here from the T Tech Key Arena. 1 1. Reyes versus. Chance to get over here. But this is the second rank. 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 好，那么我们看到他当年啊，这个两千零三年的时候是四十九岁啊，那当然现在已经是超过五十了啊。好，冲球啊，八号球进了中袋，进了两颗球啊，但是现在一号球啊，这个距离稍微远，而且角度也比较大了。一号球啊，这角度比较大。我们看他下右赛第一杆啊，准备要绕两颗星，打了一个刹车球，哇！右赛第一杆刹车球，好球啊！但是刹车还是刹的不够，还是过头了。好，那么现在看看有没有办法灌中袋啊？那灌中袋的话，当然了，可能要我们看到三号球在上面啊，可能只能够打个定杆来做三号球。好，果然没错，打了定杆。那为什么不打拉杆来做直球呢？因为打拉杆的话啊，这个可能球会变得比较远一点啊。那么他 A f r i e n d 他宁可宁可让母球横抬啊，他也不愿意不愿意说啊做的比较远一点啊。那做的远一点的话，这个对对对准度上来讲多多少少啊有点影响啊。所以考试考别人就好了，不要考自己。<笑>对，角度大没关系啊，但是不要太远。对。好，看看这个球啊，这个选择了拉杆啊，两颗星回来，做九号球，薄球。所以一开始啊，就连下两局。这个当然了，这个对手是翠兰啊，所以说我说也不敢掉轻心啊，能够拿几局就尽量拿几局，最好是都不要让 Strickland 离开他的椅子，<笑>这样是最好的